there is some transient time when you're yeah. increasing because we're seeing an increase in our glycogen, which is water weight as well as carbohydrate weight. So weight on the scale will change. You'll have some bloating for a few weeks, but again, it's transient. So your yeah. body's trying to refine its kind of new niche point. It takes a good six to eight months to get into a, a new availability and your body to find a good settle point. It's that time period where a lot of athletes are really uh, vulnerable because in our heads, we're like putting weight on. I don't feel that great. I'm not doing the exercise that I used to do. I'm not training as hard as I used to. So it can predispose people to eating disorders or disordered eating. And we don't want any of that to happen as well. So we have to get a support system around. So mm -hmm. if I'm working with someone to bring them out of low energy availability, I want to know who their close support system is so that we can work as a team. Yeah. Because if I send someone off and say, here, you need to do this, 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 and they start having all these mental anguishes around body composition and the way they feel, it's not gonna work. So it is, it is coming, it is a syndrome it's a clinical syndrome and it requires more than just one person telling an athlete what to do. It requires a whole holistic approach. If we're looking at relative energy deficiency in sport, which is the step beyond just low energy availability, this is where we see so many systems that are affected. Yeah. And we have to have the conversation between the specialists to really have a point person to work with the athlete who can also communicate to the other specialists of what's happening. One of my friends, uh, Rebecca McConville, she's a really fantastic dietitian who specializes in this. She's like, the one thing that often gets neglected when we are looking at bringing people out of red S is the psychological component, which leads to eating disorders. And how do we tease the two apart? Mm -hmm. So this is where you have that point person with the athlete to talk to the specialist so you can keep track of what's going on. So if it is identifying as, uh, you know, REDS is covering an eating disorder, it's pulled out. Yeah. And we can address it sooner rather than later.